Hello everybody, how are you doing? I am Chitanshu from Dream Abroad and this is a very very special video because in this video I'm going to give you a video tour of a million dollar house in Canada. We'll meet Matt inside. You've seen Matt in the videos before. This video is going to be very 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 interesting. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Hey, hey, she's Anchu. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm well, thank you. Come on in. Come on in. So, guys, we have Matt here, Matt Rooney, and you have seen him in a video before. He has tons of knowledge with the real estate because he's a real estate agent here in Waterloo, Kitchener area, and uh, he showed us. Uh, he's going to show his million-dollar house today. If you haven't watched the video previously, I'll put the link in the iCard above. You can check it out. And Matt, let's start. Okay, sure. Let's start. Okay. Uh, let's start in the living room. Okay. Pretty easy. Um, we entertain company in here sometimes. Otherwise, the room really doesn't get that much use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then it feeds right into the dining room. Again, this is pretty formal. We don't use it a lot. Uh, family events, functions. It's a nice space, but it doesn't get used that much, really. All right. Now moving on to the kitchen the area. Office. Okay, the sure. Officers. This I is the office here. space. So is this your office? Yeah, so this is my office. It looks just like my office right now, not like an office that's ready to sell. <laughs> okay. Uh, normally this is a mess. You should have seen what we had to clear out of here right. to get it ready. Okay. Uh, you just head left. Okay. Oh, yeah. it's a big, sorry, it's kitchen. Yeah, this kitchen's huge. This it's is where actually huge, this huh? is where family meals happen way more often mm -hmm. than than in the dining room. Um, oh, nice. Also has the walk out to the deck. Uh, it just started raining, but if you want, we can go out there. Yes, it is actually raining outside. It's a beautiful weather just before the winter start, and uh, it's actually raining. But I can show you a clip of it in this B-roll. Alright, so this is the living space. Yeah, this is our family room. This is the one that actually gets used. Um, again, this is set up to show the house not to watch TV, otherwise there'd be a couch this way. <laughs> but we yes. Do, we gotta do what we gotta do. Um, and then if you follow me this way, we can edit the stairs. I actually like this place, you know? Such a cute little space. Literally never ever been used. <laughs> Not once in the existence you of You know, I, I would be sometimes be sitting over here, you know, sitting down with a coffee or maybe a beer and maybe a beer. <laughs> uploading a video. It would be a nice place to take a nap. So actually, if you didn't have a bedroom. <laughs> All right, let's go upstairs. Okay, so master bedroom is a bedroom. It's big in size. What is yeah. the size of this room? Uh, I have no idea. I'd have to go look. Uh, I'm gonna guess 15 by 15, but don't quote me on that at all. We haven't taken the measurements yet. All right, and the view from here. So basically, we have got some uh, trees behind it. The view is great. Yes. There's just a natural fed spring pond back here, and then to the right are the woods, topper woods. So you can actually catch some wildlife from time to time. We've seen a few deer kick it around. Oh, really? Yeah. There's next to your house. How will it feel to live in such a beautiful place? Um, ensuite, his and her sinks. It's going to be a huge echo. Uh, jacuzzi tub. This is where the, the toilet is, so it's a little private on its own. It's a big size bathroom, actually. Yeah. It's probably, you know, Half the size of the room, right? Yeah, it's close. Some, something like half the size of the it's room. Close. I mean, like, when you do it so that the shower and the tub are separately, you just right. you're forced to take that space. Right. Okay. So basically, we have uh, it's, it's a four bedroom set. Like so it's five. There's five bedrooms. And okay. Then there's an additional bedroom in the basement. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the master. And what happens over here is 
the, these two bedrooms have what's called the Jack and Jill bathroom, mm -hmm. and the two across the hall are going to have the same thing. So basically, this bedroom has its vanity, mm -hmm. which then... And this is called a Jack and Jill bathroom. Jack and Jill bathroom. Okay. Which feeds into a bathroom. All right. Nice. Which then feeds into another bedroom that also has its own vanity. So, is it like made up to look this good? Yeah, we got yeah. rid of all the old furniture. Everybody <laughs> has moved out of this house except for maybe one or two people. And uh, we have a stager in to dress this house up so that you can see the potential of each room, I guess. It, it just oh, shows yeah. better if there's furniture everywhere obviously, instead, obviously. Of, instead of not. This is another room? Yeah, so then you have your other bedroom. This would be the fourth bedroom, I guess, or third non-master. Yeah. Yeah. It's also good space and it's got a closet with it. Yeah. So every room here has got a closet with it, attached to it, and then a washroom. Yeah, and then a, well, yeah, Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill washroom, as they say here. So it's a common space. Uh, this space can be used by this room and the other room as well. Okay, so this is another room. This is the probably the fourth room. This is the fourth bedroom. Fifth, it's the fifth bedroom because we use fifth the master bedroom. bedroom right. So it's the fifth bedroom. So now we are going to the basement. Let's check out the basement. How does it actually look? Fun fact, this was fully finished and then the next year a pipe burst in the wall Oh! and this entire basement flooded Oh! and, and insurance had to come in and redo the whole thing. Wow! So it took another year to get it done, but there you okay. go. Uh, you have a living space over here, which is what it is. There's three gas fireplaces in this house. That's one of them. The other one's in the family room upstairs and there's another one around the corner here. Okay, so we have got uh, some Kids playing over here, probably? Yeah, what? really. What is it to you? We don't, yeah, <laughs> we don't use this space much anymore either. There's just not enough people to fill it. I mean, it has to it's, it's actually a big, big house. So, generally, in a house this big, how many people do actually live? You like, could put, in theory, there's six bedrooms, one of which is a master. So, I mean, if you had, you could put four generations of people in this house if you wanted to do it. Right. Right. It's so big. Right. Okay. That's a walkout to underneath the deck. Okay, so this is the backyard. So this is a this is a door probably that opens. And how does this open? Okay. Cool. So probably we can go out. It is you're raining. Gonna, you're still gonna get wet. Yes. It is raining outside, but and we are not wearing our shoes, so we can't go out at this time. But I tell you, if we were sitting over here having a sipping a cup of coffee. It would be really, really awesome. Um, okay, moving towards the other side of the basement. We do have some gym equipment. So is this a gym area for this? Yeah, we had someone here that used to love to use that. Uh, they took the rest of the equipment with them. If somebody wants to buy this with the house, they can have it. Okay, so uh, basically this is a, a space which can be used uh, as a kitchen as well. If So right here, we actually do have the plumbing for the kitchen already okay. lined in. So you could either put a wet bar down here or you <laughs> could put another kitchen down here if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, it's all plumbed in and good to go. And yeah, you would think if you put the kitchen, it would go that way. Mm -hmm. Right. Last bathroom. Then we have a full bath over here. Uh, it's, it's a fairly good size. Okay, so overall there's six bedrooms in this house. You can imagine, he has he told, four generations of people can easily accommodate in this place. So it's, it's a room and we've got a small window because this is a basement, so there's a small window uh, over here. So the win for this to be a bedroom legally, mm -hmm. that window has to be big enough for someone to get out in the event of a fire. Oh, right. So that window is big enough for that to happen, which makes this a, a bedroom. Oh, full bedroom. Yeah. Right. So just the basement is good enough size that it could easily accommodate a family of four people. This hallway is just for storage really, we don't use it for anything else. Um, peel down. Just main floor laundry. All right, so uh, this is the laundry space. Yeah. Uh, it's enough, like we've got a dryer and a washer, washer right? Yeah. We've got a washer and we've got a dryer and some space to clean our hands. Right, so now we're going to move into the garage. 
it is pretty stuffed at the moment but it is quite huge so you can see uh, as you would have seen in the start of the video there were three different doors so you know obviously you can park three cars inside and then probably three cars outside you can get four on the driver four on the driveway so you can accommodate seven cars in this house it's a big big space in the garage itself All right, so thank you so much, Matt. My pleasure. Uh, Thank you for coming. This is a lovely, lovely home. I agree, and I'm sure uh, my audience would also agree. It's, it's a dream home for all of us. Uh, so, what's the evaluation of this house? One million dollar or more than that? No, we think more. Uh, we're going to crunch the numbers on Sunday before we hit the market, but we think it's probably going to be around one point one million. One point one million. Yeah. More than one million. <laughs> and uh, when you build it, like, uh, did you build it from scratch? Yeah, we. My family had this house built in 2006. Um, the price they paid was 575,000, but then they added a bunch of upgrades. So I think it's around 650 was what they actually paid when they when they bought it. 650. Yeah. And that was like 13 years ago. Yeah, 13 years. And ago. let's say if you want to sell it like uh, three years down the line with the current uh, you know with the, uh, price ranges yeah, which are going up. So so it's tricky because. That increase that they talk about in the housing market is an average, and we're at the higher end of that average. Right. But I would say that in three years, if things continued the way they're continuing, if it was worth 1.1 million today, it would be worth 1.14 in three years. Okay. So it's obviously, the property prices obviously increase every year. It's always good to invest. If not, if we don't have the money to invest in such a big home, obviously you should start small and dream big. So that's the message you should take away from this video. Thanks a lot, Matt, for this uh, beautiful home. For Thanks for letting us in your home. Thanks for letting everybody who's watching this video into your home and getting a sneak peek of such a beautiful house. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, which I'm sure you did, so click the thumbs up button. If you didn't like the video, click the thumbs down button and yes, please comment down below how did you like the house and do you want more videos of these kinds so I can approach Matt and he can help me <laughs> with more videos of these kinds. So thank you guys. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please click the subscribe button and yes, Matt also has his own YouTube channel so I'll provide the link in the description box. Please go and check out his channel and click the subscribe button over there as well. Thanks again for watching this video.